Isn't this great to be able to go somewhere each day and talk about hot penny stocks? God, it's like an addiction. I'm John Zadar. This is On Top and Hot, and it is April 3rd, Wednesday, which means April 4th being Thursday, I've got my live streaming event. I do this every Thursday, 4 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. Me and my lovely co-host, Taylor, who's now on camera, we go on for... I was going to say an hour, but it's actually about an hour and a half these days, taking requests from investors like you. You got a ticker you want us to look at? Bring it on. Drop it in the comment box. I'll go over the information. Taylor will go over the charts and we'll give you our opinions, whatever that's worth to you. But if you really want your ticker looked at, get it in the queue early. I can only look at about seven, maybe eight tickers in that amount of time. That's like 10 minutes, five minutes for me to talk about information and five minutes on the chart. That's not a lot. Well, I put out a placeholder for the video. I got to announce I'm doing it and people drop their tickers in early and I do go first come first serve. So by the time four o'clock rolls around, I've already got all the stocks I can look at for the show. So if you're dropping them in during the show, I apologize that I'm not able to look at it. So if you really want it looked at, get it in the queue before the show. That's 4 o'clock Eastern Standard Time every Thursday. So what I like to do on this show is share some of my personal due diligence on a hot penny stock that I find through the day as I'm trading penny stocks. I am always looking for stocks under 5 bucks, And you know where I find them? Anywhere I look, they're on every single market. And when I'm trading, I'm looking for a hot penny stock to share with you. Now, what makes it a hot penny stock? Well, heat. Where do you find the heat? You can find it in the news. You can find it in the charts. You can find it in market sentiment. And we got all three going on right now with Neon Bloom, ticker NBCO. Now, I heard buzz online today about a merger. And it's like, ooh, mergers, we like that. When I looked deeper into it, it had a window of opportunity, a cutoff date. I like that. Cutoff dates create FOMO. People feel like they're going to be missing out if they don't get into it. They know exactly when it's going to end. All they got to do is get in, get their money, get out. They love that play. Well, we've got a cutoff date here of April 15th. I loved it. So the next thing I like to do when I hear the good buzz is go check out the chart. It's hot, folks. It has been on a flat track cutting across the plains for like the last four to five months doing nothing, showing no anticipation of doing anything. But for the last, oh, I don't know, month, she has been slowly climbing. In these last few days, she is starting to climb. And where she's sitting on the charts at this price, I don't see any problem with her hitting 500% gains. I'm not promising anything. I can't see the future, even though I say I'm a wizard. I don't know what's going to happen, but I am suspect that this has enough catalyst to get it to hit that 10 cent mark. Now, we've got more than just a merger going on. They are launching a new product, and I really am excited about this, folks. It is a product that nobody else in the world has. They have no competition whatsoever, and it's a very, very unique product. And here's something else that's going to surprise you folks. I didn't realize this, but for all practical purposes, you might want to call Neon Bloom a cannabis company. Yeah. Now, I'm not saying they're selling joints or selling bags of reefer to get people high. I'm not even saying they're selling CBD, but they are growing marijuana. They are processing that marijuana and their product is federally approved for the entire country. No problem. Isn't this exciting? So let's jump on into this. Neon Bloom, she finished today at just under two and a half cents. And whoa, look at those gains today. And she's got a lot more to give as far as I'm concerned. We are up over 83% today. She's on the bottom tier of the OTC, the riskiest tier there is, pinks. But she's current. She's got the only validated information you're normally going to find with pinks. That's what makes them risky. There's no validated information. You're getting information, but unless it's in a filing, you're just taking management's word for whatever you're hearing or reading. But we've got a verified profile here and we've got a verified transfer agent. These are very important folks and they're being validated by an unbiased third party, the OTC markets. That's one of their jobs. And that's the only validated information we get with pinks. That's why I tell you, look for them. That's reassuring to see there. 
So what is it exactly that Neon Bloom does? Well, we do have a description here, but I really don't like this description. So I am going directly into the most current financial to get their description of this company. Now, because there isn't a lot of current information, we don't have any new filings, we don't have any new press releases. Actually, we have a couple of press releases from the end of 2023, which we are going to look at, that are going to expound more on what we read here in the financial. But more than that, it talks about current events, things that are happening right now. So jumping into this business description, the company is a holdings company for healthcare and financial services and other synergistic businesses in emerging markets. On January 2021, the company purchased all the issued and outstanding capital of Bayslet Health Systems. They gave 120 million shares for the company and it is now theirs. It is one of their wholly owned subsidiaries. Bayslet is an inventor of a patented ingredient called PEXA. Pay attention here. PEXA is an abbreviation for plant-based endocannabinoid system activator. PEXA is a trademark family of products made from a proprietary combination of plant extracts of the PAN 2020 plant and other natural ingredients. Bazelet holds an exclusive license agreement for the PAN 2020 plant in the United States with the patent owner. PAN 2020 received its patent January 5th, 2021. Now, folks, I don't know if you're aware of this, but you cannot patent anything that's already in existence. If it exists, you didn't create it. And that's what patents are for, something you created. Well, we're talking about a plant here, a plant that's never been seen before has been patented. PAN 2020 is remarkably high in CBG with undetectable levels of both cannabinoids, CBD, and THC. So we've got a cannabis plant here that produces CBG, not CBDs, not THC. Never heard of such a plant in my life. Now, you know what THC is that gets you high. CBDs, big deal about those here in the last five, six years since cannabis became legal in so many places. These are little health bullets. Cannabis has hundreds of CBDs. Each one does something different and they all benefit us. Well, what CBG does is make all of those CBDs work together in harmony, synergize their energy so you get the best results from your CBDs. And the last thing we got here is Bazelet's primary focus is to obtain funding and produce, market, and sell PEXA as a non-GMO plant-based ingredient that they are going to add to the global food market, drugs, and the cosmetic industry. Folks, an additive that can virtually go in any food, any drug, any cosmetic because it can't hurt you and has benefits. I can't even imagine how far this is going to go. And we're going to get more information about exactly what it is we're talking about when we get to that old piece of news. But I got more information I want to share with you from this financial. And I found all of this in my favorite hiding place, subsequent events. It is at the very bottom of every financial. Now, they don't necessarily have stuff there every single time, but when they do, it's a heads up. This is information that they couldn't get into the financial, so it gets thrown here at the end. And considering we don't have any current information, any press releases, this is great to have. So they tell us here that the company entered into an LOI, letter of intent, with Advanced Executive Sales, a Florida liability company, and they did this in September of 2023. They wanted to close that deal December of 2023, but something slowed them down. They needed more time for due diligence, they say. So they mutually agreed to push the date to April 15th. That's going to be in what? 10, 11 days. There's our window of opportunity. There's the deadline right there, April 15th. Now, that doesn't mean it's concrete and absolutely going to happen, but that's what they're shooting for. In anticipation of effectuating a closing of the AES agreement, in October of 2023, the company issued 250 million shares of its common stock, with instructions to the validated transfer agent to hold such shares in book entry form if they actually close the deal, but to also hold a stop transfer in case they don't close the deal. 
If the AES agreement does not close by April 15th without a further extension, the subject shares will be returned to the Treasury. So if the shares go back, we know the deal is not going to be going through. On February 6th of this year, the USPTO issued Bazelet a patent. On March 19th, Bazelet filed appropriate documents for a trademark application for the mark Bazelet. Now check out this next part. This caught my interest and I do have to do some more due diligence. And will soon do the same for its application for Cannabis America. I have no idea what that is about. I do have to do more due diligence. They also inform us here that on March 27th, they changed their address. Normally not a big deal, and it may not be. But I discovered back when I was investing in cannabis stocks in 2018, 2019, when cannabis companies were popping up like popcorn and they were merging with each other left and right, we were looking for ways to get ahead of these deals. And one of the ways was through the address. When you see a company change their address, the very first thing you should do is put that address into Google. See where it matches up to. Does it match up to another company? Aha! If it matches up to another company's address and that company's still using that address, then there could be something going on there and you could be ahead of the game. I don't know why this address changed. I'm just putting that out there for you. On March of this year, Bazelet's recent application with the USPTO was accepted into the Cancer Moonshot Expedited Examination Pilot Program and will receive special status until a first office action. I can't explain it to you folks. I have no idea what this is. What the heck is a Cancer Moonshot? I don't know. Special status? I don't know. And first office action? I've never heard of. What I can say is it sounds good, doesn't it? <laughs> Bazelet is working with three or more food technology companies that are charged with converting plant oil and other substances into water-soluble powder, which will be formulated into our pest cup ingredients. Now, this was a problem with the cannabis industry not too long ago when they started extracting THC and CBD to put it into other products and infuse them they discovered they couldn't do it with a few certain products, like any beverage. You know what happens when you mix oil and water together. Yak! That just doesn't work, no matter how often you shake it. And the same thing happens with chocolate. Well, that gave us a lot of encouragement to find new technologies, and we created a nanotechnology where we can take oil and break it down to such a small particle that it is basically absorbed. And they're trying to take it one step further and turn it into a powder. And this is going to be able to be added to anything. Anybody is going to be able to use this. So, that's the information from the financial. We're going to go take a look at the stock, and when we get to the news, we'll start filling in some blanks here. So let's check out that relative volume for the company. Oh my God, she exploded today. Going from an average of 105,000 shares for the last 30 days, she popped to 2.2 million today. Now, in case it escapes you, that is over 200 times her normal volume. That's a lot of excitement, folks. That's a lot of heat. Speaking of heat, the share structure is hot. They tell us over here that our outstanding share count is 412 million, which isn't all that great. But don't worry, the insiders own a ton of them, 396 million. That's a lot of belief in a company right there. Not to mention it now leaves us with a small float of only 15 and a half million. I'm loving this. Market cap for the company, currently at about $5.1 million. Checking out her financials. Yeah, she was making a little bit of money back in 2021 and 22. Remembering to add three zeros behind any of the numbers on any of these charts, she did $68,000 and $5,000. Haven't got our 2023 annual listed here yet, but they are doing their financials. They're just not making any money. Zip. Now, when we look at their balance sheet, it's a little naked too. We've got no money in the bank. Hopefully, they got a bank account. Total assets is pretty light, $369,000. Liabilities is also light, but it's a lot more than the assets. We're over a million. 
which means we're holding stockholder deficit in this company of about $870,000. Taking a look at the disclosures for NBCO, we got nothing here since 2022, so let's just pop on over into that news. Now, we got lots of news here back in 2022 and 2023, but nothing for 2024. However, these two pieces of news from August and September are relevant now because they're talking about things that are happening now. So let's dive into these. First piece of news, this came out August 30th. Neon Bloom announced today that its subsidiary, Bayslet Health Systems, Inc., will enter the $60 billion U.S. organic food and beverage industry in 2024 with the introduction of PEXA Organic. PEXA is a plant-based, water-soluble ingredient made from patented cannabis plant extracts that contain a proprietary combination of non-psychoactive CBG and its acidic precursor, CBGA. I'm not familiar with that. In addition to other con constituents and is intended to be generally recognized as safe as regulated by the FDA under the U.S. Food and Drug Cosmetic Act. Folks, that generally recognized as safe, that gross right there, that's as good as gold. If you get that, you can start getting your products out there. Back in 2018, I think, 2019, when they passed the hemp bill, the farm bill, and made hemp legal, everybody got excited because CBDs came from hemp, and they were going to start putting CBDs in everything. And the FDA came out and said, put the brakes on, folks. You ain't doing that. We passed a drug that had CBD in it for epilepsy. You think we're just going to let you put CBDs in anything willy-nilly? No. So everybody started pulling back. Well, only one company had gross back then. What that did was give them a monopoly. Corner the market. Nobody else could compete with them. And that's what we've got going here. They've got the gross. They have already been approved to the highest standard you can possibly get with this sort of product. And they have no competition. Pexa Organic will be made exclusively from federally legal, U.S. patented cannabis plants grown by Amish community on USDA certified organic farms. How about that? Now, this is the best information you're going to get about Bazelet, their description of the company. Bazelet is the licensed U.S. plant patent trademark and manufacturer of PAN 2020, the world's first patented cannabis plant. PAN 2020 is a new and distinct variety of cannabis sativa plant and contains 0% THC, making it the first and only federally legal cannabis plant. Hemp is legal, completely legal federally in all 50 states. However, it has THC in it. There is a little bit, and if it has anything more than 3%, you can't even use it. Well, you can extract that THC and condense it and concentrate it and get high off of it. Not possible with this plant. With PAN 2020, Bazelet developed a proprietary ingredient, PEXA, used in the manufacturing and commercial supply of food, drug, and cosmetic products that comply with the Food, Drug, and Cosmetic Act. There are no healthcare claims being made by the company or Bazelet about PEXA products. These products are not intended to treat, diagnose, mitigate, prevent, or cure diseases, nor do they have any therapeutic effect as to any specific medical diagnosed conditions. Again, CBG works with CBDs. By itself, it really isn't doing anything. But when you start consuming CBDs and CBG, you're going to notice some better effects from your CBD. And that's what this is all about. That other piece of news, this one came out September 28th. They tell us that Neon Bloom announced today that it has signed a letter of intent to acquire Advanced Executive Sales a leading financial services company specializing in generating transactional revenue from many types of businesses, both in the e-commerce and the point of sale, meaning inside real stores. 
It anticipates booking $20 million in 2023 revenue. This new company they're making a deal with. This new company is already making money. They claimed that they were going to be making $20 million in 2023. AES is a certified partner with YNLO Ultratech and PayShield and actively working with over 100 e-commerce sites. AES has expanded its focus on e-commerce and point-of-sale transaction solutions, which now enables it to provide secure interactions between merchants and customers, payment and digital wallet solutions. So this is FinTech. You've got them working with the product over here with a cannabis plant and you've got them making a deal with a fintech company that is creating a new application which is going to connect businesses to consumers, consumers to their wallets, to their bank. I mean, it's another one of those fintech apps which there are just, I don't know, maybe a hundred of out there. But they're going to use this synergistically with their product so that they can get paid quicker, so businesses can get paid quicker, so it's easier for the consumers to get their products. This transaction, as envisioned, is expected to immediately begin bringing in positive cash flow. They got nothing right now. Helping us implement operational infrastructure, provide working capital for our subsidiaries, and to help us complete Additional acquisitions we've been studying for some time now. Ooh, that sounds juicy. So we got a lot going on here. We got a merger that's supposed to be closing April 15th. When they close that deal, everything that that new company has comes to this company, including all those revenues, millions of dollars, possibly tens of millions of dollars a year. And this company has no money. Plus, they're launching a very unique product that can be used, to, who knows in how many products, a lot, a lot, a lot of products, and they have no competition whatsoever. And it's fully 100% legal by the federal government. I think it's exciting, folks. I don't know where it's going to go, but I think it's worth watching, especially now. Because the chart is set up to rip, folks. She's been flat as a pancake for a very long time, and now she is starting to climb. Let me show you what she looks like. All right, all right, all right. Let's do some charting, folks. This is my favorite part of due diligence, in case you couldn't tell. So I got Neon Blooms locked and loaded, ticker NBCO. And we're going to be taking a look at this on my free trading platform, Thinkorswim. So I've got her opened up to a three-year, one-week chart so you can get an idea of what's been going on here. And what's been going on is she's been in a serious downtrend for a long time. We had a nice high three years ago of a dollar. Then we hit this ridiculous low in May of 2022, double zero four. But she wasn't through falling. She kept falling until December of 2023 when she stopped. She didn't start climbing. She just went sideways dead nuts. And here recently, she is starting to climb again, as you can see by the volume coming into the picture. Now let's take a quick glance at our one day, one year chart. Kinda looks like a zoom in of our three year chart. You can see when she quit falling, she just went dead nuts sideways for months and months. And here recently she has started to climb with all this volume coming into the picture. But it's gonna be a while before she hits this 200 day SMA. This is up there at 20 cents. We are just underneath two cents, which is over a 1,000% run. However, I do believe that right here at 10 cents, which is a very strong resistance, we're going to see her run to. That would be over 500% gains. Now, if she does start to run up to that 10 cents, I would sell just before she hits it because I'm thinking she's going to hit it and bounce right back down. I don't know how far, but she's going to bounce down. So I would sell just before she hits 10 cents. Our oscillators on our yearly chart are looking pretty good, aren't they? Look at that RSI. She was climbing slowly, started picking up momentum, and then just shot up to the overbought. And she is right there waiting to go into the overbought and catch fire. Our MACD has been climbing for quite a while, has just now crossed the signal line, green bars coming into the picture. Our yearly chart is looking pretty good. Take a look at our six month, four hour view. Well, the first thing we notice here is we don't have any 200 day SMA on the chart. Just haven't sold enough shares for that yet. 
What we do have is a 50-day SMA, which is king, and she is breaking out off of that king right now. She was flat for a very long time, hit a low here of 0057, and over the last week, yeah, roughly week and a half, she has been pushing up and climbing. Oscillators are looking sweet. Our PPO is now starting to pull away. It's been flat for quite a while. Our MACD is pulling away from the signal line. Green bars in the picture. And even though our RSI is falling, it's still on fire up there at 70 right now. Perfect. I'm liking the four hour chart as well. Let's take a look at that one hour chart. Ooh, that looks pretty. When you got a low bubble in this corner and a high bubble in that corner, it's a perfect chart. <laughs> so that's a perfect chart. We were down here at 0068 and we hit a high here of 0.024. Whoo, I'm not going to try to calculate that. I think that's like 400% gain, something like that. And as you can see, it was a gentle ride. She just rolled that nine day SMA all the way up. She had one poke through here and didn't even touch the 20 day SMA. All of our SMAs are climbing and looking sweet. All of our oscillators are strong. They're showing a little bit of cooling off, but nothing that says I'm going down. That all looks great too. Let's take a look at that five day, five minute. Another perfect chart. <laughs> Low bubble in this corner now is 0093. The high bubble hasn't changed. We are getting some more bounces in here, but again, she is riding that nine day SMA. We did fall underneath the 20 here, rubber ball bounce, goes under the water and right back up on the surface. And look, she is riding her nine, but she's bouncing off of the 20. Easy to see here, boing, boing, boing. Now this one went a little bit under. We're gonna keep our eye on that. I see we got a little bit of turning down on our 50 day SMA and all of our oscillators on our five minute are cool. They're all coming down right now. But we've got a window of opportunity, April 15th. I think that's gonna create FOMO. The more information that gets out about this deadline, the more people are gonna to wanna to get into it and not miss it. Since they know when it's gonna end, they know they're not gonna hang around for a long time. So I'm expecting people to jump in just for the merger. But the smart ones will get in because of the new product, PESCA. This is interesting, folks. This CBG additive that can go into foods. You can't put CBD into food, but you can put CBGs. This is a very interesting world we live in. This is being launched right now, and we don't know where it's gonna go. Eyes open wide, folks. But the mergers are gonna be bringing in revenues, which is really the key here. We invest in companies based on how much money they're making or how much they're gonna be making. Well, they're making zero right now. So to kick that up to $20 million is exciting. So this company has a lot of catalysts, a lot of reasons for it to move, and we've got a window of opportunity between now and April 15th. I would put it on my watch list, and I would even consider getting in now before she starts to climb while she's real cheap down there by the penny. I haven't covered everything, folks. You know I never do. Sometimes it feels like it, but I didn't. So do your own due diligence, please. Remember, the more you know, the more you're going to grow. See you, folks.